When you're using the Elementor Pro Builder for WordPress, once in a while, Elementor will somehow disconnect from the site's styles, leaving a page that just looks funky. It has a bunch of text on it, but all of the styles, the fonts, and the colors have just disappeared. It is unfortunately a known Elementor bug that has been around for a while. Here's how to take care of it. There are a few different things that you can do. First, go to the page that has lost its styles in WP Admin and make a small update. So, show you that by example. Go to your list of pages under the page in question. Select Edit with Elementor. Once you've gotten to that page, what you want to do is make a very small change so that this button in the bottom left co right corner here of the uh, editor window for Elementor turns green. Once it turns green, you can update and force the page to update. So the nice thing about Elementor is you can fake a change. The best thing to do is to select a simple content section. In that content section, you can do something like press the space bar. Now watch that update button at the bottom right. Once I hit the space bar, see this update button down here turned green. But then I don't want a space, obviously, so I'll hit backspace, which means I really didn't change anything, but we tricked Elementor into thinking that we did. So then you hit the green update button, which forces the page to update. Then check your page in a fresh browser to see if that fixed the problem. Now remember, when you're checking your page, you do want to always go to a fresh browser where you're not logged into WordPress. So go to File in the, in the Chrome browser. Go to File, New Incognito Window. Incognito means the same thing as a fresh browser. And I'm going to go to visit this website. Now in my case, this page wasn't broken because the video is for the sake of example. However, you can see that the styles are working just fine. Now, if that doesn't work and you refreshed and still found that you're having problems in a fresh browser, the next step is to regenerate your CSS. To do that, when you're logged into WordPress, from the left-hand navigation menu, go to Elementor, and in the drop-down, select Tools. From the uh, menu of options that appears, find the first one called Regenerate CSS, and click Regenerate Files. Then hit Save Changes. Now once again, go check your page and make sure you do it once again in a fresh browser. You have to check it in a fresh browser every single time. If your styles have been stored, you know that you fixed the problem. However, if after both of these items you're still stuck, there are two more things that you can do. First is if you have caching on your website, this could be your problem all by itself. Caching sort of has great performance benefits but it does make changes a little bit more complicated to go live, and it is sometimes going to cause problems with Elementor Builder styles. So, if you have caching installed on your website, hopefully you have a button in the WP Admin to clear your cache. We use the Hummingbird Pro WPMU Dev uh, plugin, and that one from the top navigation bar, there's a Hummingbird option. Under that, we have clear page cache. I know that when I hit this button, the cache for the entire website will reset. So I'll hit clear page cache. Finally, the last thing to do, if nothing else has worked, is to go into Elementor in your WP Admin and we can force the CSS to reprint from scratch. In order to do that, in your WP Admin from the left hand navigation menu, select Elementor, Settings. From the menu of options that pulls up, Click on the Advanced tab. Next, on the first option that pulls up called CSS Print Method, go to the drop down and change it from external file to internal embedding. Hit Save Changes. Then, immediately after you've saved your changes, go back to the drop down, change it back to external file, and hit Save Changes again. This forces the CSS, because you've changed how it prints, to reprint from scratch. After you've made these changes, give it two to three minutes, because websites, while they are fast, when these changes are all made, it does take it a few minutes to recompile everything. Then, once again, pull up your website in a fresh browser and check your page. 
If you've already used the same fresh browser, you're going to want to close it out and start over to make sure that you aren't looking at a cached version of the page. So if you do still have it up, you want to do a refresh, which on a Mac keyboard is Command Shift R. But honestly, if you don't know the keyboard shortcuts, your best bet is to just close out this window and then open it up again and type in the URL again. A combination of those items should take care of any issues you're having with your CSS not printing correctly. Honestly, most of the time this happens when you have a site with caching on it. It's not always clearing cache that fixes the problem, but that's usually what makes that complication that results in the styles disconnecting. So make sure you understand all about your caching on your website. And if not, ask your developer or find out more about it.